Alright, what's going on everyone? It's Super Ninja 2000 here for episode 9 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD Hero Mode. In the last episode, we got the Iron Boots, and in this episode, I just saw Golden Bugs, I'm gonna go back for it. So I'm heading to Kakariko Village right now for the main quest. I'm just gonna grab this real quick. These are Golden Bugs. They're found all around the world, and they'll come into play later in the game. Like, by later, I mean like, after this upcoming dungeon. Which, which is not going to be in this episode. So as soon as you jump over the skate, it's going to trigger a cutscene. Mad. Hey, uh. What well, we saw what just happened? We got to go after them. done with him. So this is our first horseback battle of this game. That's right, I said first. There is another one after the second dungeon. And there's one more at the end of the game as well. <clears throat> so King Bulbin is who you want to target. But there are other Bulbans who are go after you, and they have fire arrows, so if they hit you, watch out, because you'll lose your shield. Yeah, I haven't played this game for a while, so I'm kind of rusty with the controls. Get him, get him, get him, get him! Got him! Not over yet. <clears throat> we got one more fight, this time on the bridge. Alright, so for this phase of the fight... <clears throat> what you want to do... Don't touch the front of his board, because if you do, then he'll knock you off the bridge. What you do want to do is try to... 
<clears throat> attack him as much as you can. Just don't touch the front of his Bobo, because then he will knock you off the bridge. Not even a hit. Let's go. I did get hit twice in the main fight, though, I think. So I'm missing half a heart. And now we've got another cutscene. That's in 2000. Is everyone okay? Good. Beth, I'm sorry, you know, for shoving you. Are you mad? Hey, that was a heroic thing he did. I, I think I finally understand. I understand what my dad meant when he told me I needed to be stronger like US in 2000. He wasn't talking about strength like lifting stuff. He was talking about being brave. SN2000, you saved me, didn't you? <clears throat> and I kept my shield. You, you can do anything. Yeah, I'm heading to the second dungeon next. You can do something to help the Gorons in the mine too, can't you, SN2000? Sorry if you can hear my dog walking in the background. Alright, we've got a mountain to climb. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, I am going to say, before you head to Death Mountain, make sure you equip a proper shield. But looking at my rupees, I do not have enough, so I'm going to head to the graveyard and see if we can get some. Yeah, I know you can make a rupee chest appear over here. Purple or rupee, but we still don't have enough. So, Link's gonna have to resort to this scrounging anywhere for rupees. I want that Hylian shield. Nothing in there. Well, we're 12 rupees short, so... <laughs> Nothing? Come on. Actually, I want to check something. I want to see if I got the... There was a chest in here. I'm not sure if I got it already, but I'm going to go see. Yep, already got his wolf link. Alright, then I'll resort to what Link does best, which is breaking things. Let's 
climb up this ladder. Doesn't look like we're getting out this way anymore. This is what Link does best. Breaks pots. I broke pots right next to you. Did you not hear it or even react? I'm not done breaking things yet. Maybe I should be the hero of breaking things. Come on, I just need eight more rupees. <clears throat> I just need eight more rupees. I need more rupees before I can go up the mountain. You need, you need a proper shield to go up there. <clears throat> I just need eight more rupees. That's really so much to ask for. I broke crates and pots for them. But all they dropped were green rupees. Why am I going up here? On second thought, maybe I do know a place where I can get some rupees. Let's go check it out. Doesn't involve breaking stuff? Maybe. Doesn't involve climbing? Yes. Who knows, maybe I'll break some pots while I'm in there. Link has his way of having a good time. blew that place up last time. Or not last episode, but recently. Because I keep making these unnecessarily long breaks in the series. I'm, I'm going to try to stop making these long breaks from now on. Because <clears throat> we still have a long way to go in this game. Never seen it breaking some pots. This would be quicker if I could use my sword. And the only one that drops rupees is the red one. Oh, yep, there is a chest up here. That's what I needed. Alright, let's go get our Hylian shield. Parkour. Huh? Hey, you can look at stuff, but don't you dare just take things. That's my valuable merchandise. You want it, you pay for it. I decide to take on this unmanned shop. Buy something helps the whole village if you do. So yep, I'm going to get the Hylian Shield, which is highly recommended for the next dungeon. It's metal and will never burn. So, I am going to equip that shield. Alright, let's make our way to Death Mountain. Oh yeah, make sure you have the iron boots equipped. At 
be set to one of your buttons. You don't need them right now, but you will in just a second. Alright, Death Mountain, here we come. I'm back! Oh, you are back again, human? You will never pass. You could not hope to match our brute force. We'll see about that. See you later. Keep them on your button, though. Gonna need them again. Look right here. As long as you're holding A when they come for you, you should be just fine. I mean, if you do get knocked down, it's no big deal. I think you just take half a heart of damage. Maybe one heart since this is hero mode. Yeah, I gotta remember, this is hero mode. There are no recovery hearts. This is almost too easy. Another one. See ya! One reason why I equip the Hylian shield. Nice view out of bounds right there. <clears throat> Those don't hurt you, but as you saw right there, they do knock you down, so. Yeah. I didn't check to see if I have any potions, considering how this is hero mode. Good thing the cutscene's still going, I would've taken damage. Hint! Hint! Okay, I have a full bottle of milk and a red potion, okay. I want to keep my death count at zero for as long as I can, but as soon as you touch this area, the volcano starts exploding again! Oh man, that's intense. Whoa, this looks dangerous. Is this a traditional Death Mountain welcome? Don't touch that. If you do, you will take damage. Not sure if you need the iron boots for this. I haven't played this for a while, so I'm just doing it just in case. And when you are doing that, hold the control stick up in the button you wish to launch yourself in. Okay, I'm gonna wait for the meteorite to stop falling in case I have to dodge another meteorite falling. Like that one. Okay, you don't need the iron boots, okay. Or there's hot springs down here. If you need to refill your health, this is the place to do it. You can even talk to these guys. Oh, but their baths are the best, brother. Nibbing, nibbling on an 
evening meal of rocks are lying in the tub is like nothing else. Sitting in the hot spring warms up your body and soul and gradually fills you with energy, brother. Even Goron's gonna cleanse their spirits once in a while. Surprise, these guys aren't trying to attack me. There have been few Suma matches lately. Talk about boring, brother. I suppose this is because young Gorons these days have no interest in elders like Sumo. A former powerhouse Gor Koron is an elder. There is not much we can do, brother. The only guy I haven't talked to yet is you. Ah, nice and hot, just like I like it. What? What is a human doing here? I thought the elders told us not to let humans near the mountain, but I suppose there's no business of mine. Come into the hot spring and refresh yourself, brother. Well, I'm already healed up, so... It's time to get down to business. To enter the second dungeon. Okay, so as long as you're wearing the iron boots for these ones, they won't knock you back. So that's what you want to do for that one. Okay, I think there's another Goron you have to stop here. Yep. And I think I see another one up there. Yep. Almost like Link has the silver gauntlets with that. No, it's really the boots doing the job. Try to get back. Tell me up. And in we go. Make sure you're wearing the iron boots for this cutscene right here. Oh man. Enough! Is this young one such an opposing enemy that you must all gang up on him? I think not, little brothers. I am a Goron elder, little human. I am called Gor Koron. Because of certain circumstances, I must lead the Goron tribe in place of Darbus, our tribal patriarch. Tell me, little human, do you come from the village below? You have done well to come this far. You are strong for a human. However, the mines beyond here are sacred to my tribe. Outsiders are not allowed unless you underestimate me. I could make an exception, but you would have to beat me in a contest of power. Are you willing to try that, little human? Yes. We're going into a sumo match. Which is the last one of the game. <laughs> Let's see if I've still got it. Oh, crap. Dang it. Yeah, if you do fail, you can retry as many times as you want. Mm. 
Getting over Triz, the default option. Come on now. Gotcha. Young warrior, you have a strong will and sharp eyes. Find traits. Want to see how well you can use them? You have seen it, I would bet. The mountain erupting without pause? When the mountain began to rage, all four of us elders and Darbus, our patriarch, went inside to investigate its anger. We have a treasure that was entrusted to us by the spirits, we must protect it, do you understand? But the moment Darbus reached out and touched the treasure, everything went wrong. He collapsed before our very eyes transformed into an unspeakable monster. He began to rage throughout the mines, trailing ruin behind him and the eruptions grew more frequent and more severe. We used all of our strength to steal him up deep inside the mountain. It grieved us to do this to our patriarch, but we had no other course of action. I ask this favor of you, young warrior. Go to the aid of Darbus. Make no mistake, the spirits have guided you here. I, Gorkora, need your help. On behalf of my entire clan, I ask you for your aid. Hey. You two, let the young warrior pass. Right down there is the second dungeon, which we are going to do in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Remember to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. If you really like my content, you can subscribe. Hit the bell to stay updated for new videos. And check out my channel discussion if you want to see what's going on. And I'll see you guys next time.